Hi, my name is Anamika Hops, and this is The Art Friend Show, where every conversation focuses on getting to know the essence of creativity itself. I'd love to invite you as well to join me inside of Art Friends School, where we go deeper into these topics and join in with other art friends around the world. Thanks so much for joining us, and let's get to the show. show here's an artist you're gonna love to know hi <laughs> this is <Hi>. season <laughs> cast sparks and Hi. we're here in her shop in cannon beach where she makes all the art and then designs all the products that it is put on and it's going to be such a special interview because we get to hear some of your story and then we get to walk around the shop and see like how you brought it to life. Awesome. And right now we're in the dressing room, so yes. you can see. The super fabulous <laughs> Trixie's Motel inspired. This dressing room. <laughs> like come for the dressing room, stay for the merch. Yeah, yeah, so true. <laughs> okay. At so, least for a selfie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we can do the interview like this if you just yeah, yeah. wanna cuddle. So yeah. Seasons, tell me um, a little bit of the story of the coming, like how you, so I was a Started. retailer for 30 years. Mm -hmm. I ran a store called Presence of Mind, which mm -hmm. some of you may know, in Portland. Yes. And I carried a wide variety of other artists. And I purchased from mostly small independent companies, which mm -hmm. is wonderful, but it's also a whole lot of companies and people and things to deal with yeah. uh, versus being just my own brand is right. fun as well. Right. Uh, however, as I would go to market, I would inevitably find holes in the market in mm -hmm. terms of uh, products that I knew my customers would be looking for that I wanted to sell to them. Mm -hmm. um, and as a creative person, it was exciting to think about just solving that myself. Yeah. So I started uh, designing some t-shirts, just like some cool Portland shirts that mm -hmm. actually, if you're living in Portland and from there, you'd want to wear. Yeah. Uh, and then Octopus, uh, actually my best-selling Octopus is from 2008 when I very first started designing some tees. Yeah. But honestly, I started to fantasize about making all the products mm -hmm. or versions of all the products Yourself. myself very, yeah. Yeah, for yeah. a very long time. That's amazing. But it feels very overwhelming until you kind of really start doing it. Yes. Um, so. Yeah. Yeah. Fast yeah. forward. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna okay. flip it around yeah, yeah. so I can just make it the seasons show. And I can, yeah. Um, and then I can follow you. Okay. So, cool. We're, uh, here we go. We're okay. There you are. <laughs> okay, great. Right. And now also you don't have to. You yeah, can just yeah. talk I can and, use and all my hands. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I yeah. Can in the face. Yeah. So, okay. So you were working at Presence of Mind, yeah. and you learned a lot about, um, like what the market could bear, like retail, yeah, so I all know of that. The mixes, I know what prices things should be. Mm -hmm. I also have seen how people have done things or overdone things or underdone things. Yeah. Uh, as a buyer, you're just constantly critiquing everybody else's um, yeah. work to see if it will sell, frankly. Right. Um, and that is a good setup to make your own products because then you, you know, I know what, basically, unless I would have bought it, then it's not yeah. done. Right. Like if it's not at the yeah. level of the products that I buy. Yeah, I remember one of my first Crafty Wonderlands, um, I think it was you, came and bought like prints or things from me. Like oh, yeah. you were kind of like looking at makers yeah, yeah. at Crafty. Yeah. Well, and the other thing that I used to do uh, for Presence of Mind is I would specifically, because I would find lots of artists that I love their stuff, but yeah. not feel like it was going to work in the product mix or be yeah. like I had room for it or whatever. Mm -hmm. So every Christmas, and I usually had about 12 employees, so oh. every Christmas I would try to buy from makers I don't carry oh. and buy the Christmas gifts for the employees from the maker. That's amazing. Um, That's so that just was sharing fun, the, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, share the love. Totally. And there yeah. was lots of times that they ended up being fans of that artist and that oh. created its own little thing. So that felt good. That Very like, cool. Support them still. Yeah. Um, and that's probably one of the only, that's maybe the only thing I miss about having the retail store is having yeah. those, uh, and even doing shows and stuff is like getting the time with the other makers. Yeah. And in carrying them, having these uh, personal relationships and visits and things. So, yeah. I don't know. However, we all figure out how to do that. How to do our businesses. <laughs> without, without me schlepping all my stuff. Oh, the schlepping. Oh, the schlepping. On display. <laughs> oh, my God. Exactly. <laughs> so, one thing about coming into your shop that is so fun is it's a really fully realized vision of all of your merch. So how about we take a walk through and we could yeah. end up back in here to, to like finish the interview. I love it. So I'm gonna follow you as if you just wanna give me a tour yeah, of Salty Raven. Okay, great. All right.
first of all. Here we go. Right, so mm -hmm. See how swamp my husband is? Yeah, he's, he's working like, it. He's, he's doing it. Thank yeah. Uh, so here you have the storefront. Actually, I want to show the floor. So I have a flagship store in Tillamook, and the whole floor is this, and it's meant to give you the feeling of the ocean. Oh, nice. And since I didn't have all, I inherited this wonderful wood floor. Here, yeah. I instead put my photography. Oh, that's so uh, smart. Ocean. You have a, a tide pool that we're walking on. Like, you've thought about everything from the floor up yes. in a retail space. And if you go to the flagship and there's store, buoys. it's a wood ceiling. Oh, um, cool. So it's meant to give you, since so all the art is inspired by the ocean and the forest, I yeah. want you to feel like you're getting the ocean and the forest in the space. I love that. So that was definitely the concept behind it. Very cool. And then trying to give you these uh, fun retail moments like the fancy dressing room. Yeah. yeah. Since we have this space, right? That's amazing. And it's also helpful that since we're a website, since uh, we have the products there displayed by category yeah here they are too yeah they're super organized they're even in order of the uh, coast yeah so they're actually yeah north to south yeah let's run. go look yeah, at this yeah. so if you know the oregon coast the imagery is the same as the geography so this is an image of the north coast hi i'm not getting you on camera you're fine <laughs> and then it goes all the way to the central coast in newport here right yes that's exactly. amazing. Cool. <laughs> so that's really fun. And then all the creatures are also inspired by here. Like, yeah, let's... Fish, for example, I went to Newport, uh, where this landscape's from. Yeah. Uh, and their aquarium has the most fantastic uh, exhibit of jellyfish. Yeah. And I could just literally get kicked out staying there all day, oh. uh, watching them dance around. Yeah. And so all my jellyfish drawings, I gave them like a feeling of dancing. Oh. Uh, since that's what I feel like that cool. they're doing. And same with sea stars. Yeah. When you find them, it looks like they just sort of froze mid uh dance <laughs> like move. they're posing yeah for you. like they're fully having a dance party i saw a bunch sea. this morning and they're just like hey yes i love doing them. the things and all their vibrant yeah. colors and stuff they're yeah. like having their own disco party yeah that's awesome and then it all repeats into the other you know so those same drawings will be in the wine glasses and mm -hmm. in the rock glasses and in the uh apparel and oh the puffin i love him yeah me too well and if you look at the puffin oh those are the that's the set yeah because so you've got the little puffin maybe i'll put in my story is my very shaky photography of the puffins i saw this morning and oh, you've totally. got the breaching whale so you could get the puffin the haystack rock and then the puffin yeah oh, what a good set and then you have the humpback well there so you have a humpback well there. oh so that you made ways for your products to match each other yes and you even have this is your reach of you so you have like you mm -hmm. can have a set of four where you have like the whale the puffin and then the two oh, views of haystack amazing um, so those are really fun to kind of do cool so that's haystack rock from a distance yes oh fun so that's a fun thing and then the whole other side of what I do is mm -hmm. fucked up Jerry. So, uh, <laughs> I had a pet seagull. Uh -huh. His name was Jerry. We named him Jerry with a G. So you had a pet seagull. Yes. Let's not lose that exactly. fact. So you had a pet seagull. House, yeah. Uh, and for like three meals a day, and he would eat out of my hand. Oh. Come to the window and Aww. demand his food, basically. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I just loved him. Mm -hmm. So because I loved him, I made a T-shirt out of him. Uh huh. I'll grab the T-shirt really fast. I'm going to zoom in on the drawing of him while you grab that. There's all these little hidden things oh, in the art. So here's the, uh, here's how it all started. With I this, this t-shirt. This is an amazing t-shirt. And it wasn't enough <laughs> that he's just being funny on there. Yeah. He needed an activity and based on the real Jerry the Seagull, dreaming of tacos is very much in line with his activities. That's amazing. Uh, and that sort of is why the first book ended up being about tacos. And all these are doing activities, which is distinct from all the portraits of crit critters on the, like, uh, the other line of... Well, and it's also like, this gets to be silly. Yeah. Like, because I'm doing these real landscapes and real animals, yeah. it's got to be pretty exact and uh, yeah. on point with all the line work. And yeah. This, I can just be silly. Yeah. <laughs> like, I love to see that you've given yourself these two really distinct styles. It's very helpful because at different times of the year, you know, you have a different feeling of kind of where you're inspired yeah and maybe silliness is really what's on tap yeah uh, versus wanting to do something really like 
Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah. Oh, I have to tell you, we're painting a giant pizza on the intersection in front of my house with all the kids. In like a month, I'm going to have to somehow put him (laughs) in in our life. Yeah. Yeah, the he's... trash pizza is brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. How did you think of that trash well, pizza? It was basically his story. <laughs> so he's the second book is all about him, uh-huh. and he's trying to make the perfect pizza. And so the trash <laughs> pizza is what he finds to be the perfect pizza. Oh my gosh! And then every other character has their own uh, options, and then there's he has Jerry. a heart of tongues. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so he has a little cameo, and that's These the cover of the first book. Is him glorious being he loves tacos that much that he is in a heart of tacos (laughs) but i also think looks a little like a butt and i love it it looks like a like a butt it looks like some other stuff it's It's super cute yeah you've got your crab playing the maracas oh yeah you've got your mr big on base oh yes because he's so enormous oh i know someone who needs this this well, is amazing. And so then we have like a local lady make what? Uh, hats with him. With the or... trash panda? Yes. Oh my gosh. You can have a trash panda beanie. Okay. <laughs> I, I already thought of people. Like you're so brilliant at making gifts because every... Probably I've, I've been in your store days. for 20 minutes and I've thought of like 15 people I need things for. And that's so. my gift background. Yeah. And that's what's really helped me in terms Brilliant. of Brilliant. But I was helping you pick out gifts from other people yeah. for 30 years. So yeah. uh, I'll make the gifts. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm curious. This is a personal question, but it, you know, the five love languages theory of like quality time oh, yeah. or words about like are gifts one of your love languages? Oh, for sure. Uh-huh. Because I think it's such an opportunity to convey how much you really get someone uh-huh. or have been listening yeah. to them. Or, yeah. You know, it's like, it's yeah. such a chance. And it's, I make sure that you have a $3 choice and an $80 choice. Hey, and mama appreciates that. Because yeah. maybe you do want to spoil them. And yeah. You give them a hoodie or a blanket or something really like. Really, really nice yeah, and luxurious. luxurious. Yes. Yeah. Or you're like, I just know that you love Ravens. Yeah. And so I got you this Raven sticker because I was just out in the world and thought of you. Yeah. And how, who's not, who's touched that? by that? Yeah. <laughs> like like touched like, by a glorious trash panda sticker. And, That's amazing. And seen. Yeah. Right? And it's seen. An opportunity to let people, and I love the industry. Even though I didn't want to be a traditional retailer anymore, mm-hmm. I love the gift industry because yeah. it's a happy reason. Yeah. People are either spoiling themselves or spoiling somebody that they adore. It's yeah. Like, either way. Oh, or my God. trying to, like, remedy something. So even, like, in a sympathy situation, people will buy one of my landscapes for the person who that landscape specifically yeah. is a touch point to whoever passed or, you know. that Totally. Kind of so, like. There's so much, like ways you're amplifying people's love and connection and ability to like see and hear and understand and one the, another the nature of yeah i don't know i think nature is transformative this mm-hmm. is all all of this artwork is meant to make you internally have a little more energy and light and mm-hmm. calm yeah and so that's whether it makes you laugh because it's the funny yeah you know, radicchio raccoon or whether it's a perfect landscape that's just like um, you know, a painting all but like you know that's just a painting twenty four seven. Yeah, like whatever the sky is doing, whatever the whatever. Yeah, that exact spot in the planet just always speaks is, to you. Yeah, totally. And just sort of instantly transfer. Yeah, you might have been worried about something. Yeah, or thinking about something. Yeah, see suddenly a, an animal out in nature. Yeah, gone. If you see a perfect landscape mm. gone. And so I feel like if I give you ways to do that, all like see those things every minute. Yeah. Like, so if you're wearing a shirt, if you're wearing a hoodie with a little friend on I it. I love that. Uh, if you're drinking out of your glass, then yeah. you're having more opportunities to just sort of check out of your. Connect to, to source and get yeah. out of our. Get yeah. Out of your head and get into like yeah. how beautiful really everything is. And it's like your um, work. How powerful nature is. Yeah. It imparts like the healing or like the transformative quality of spending time in the, the beach or the That's forest. The whole goal. Let's see some, let's see some more of the <laughs> work. Forest bathing. I love it. Yeah, forest awesome. bathing through glassware. Well, this too, like this, uh, this mm-hmm. uh, it's new glassware. For yeah. Me, this all is this new. Stuff. These and colorful it's super ones? detailed in terms of, uh, did you, so flowers. how do you draw? I think there's a lot of shadow as I'm videoing. So I'm going to hold them up. Oh my gosh. I just love these. 
So I use an iPad Mm -hmm. because for what I do, I might make a blanket with that drawing or I might make a sticker that's three inches. Any size. So yeah, yeah, with with the iPad, I can draw it and I can blow it way up and make sure that it's perfect Mm -hmm. at a huge size, but then I can scale it way down and make sure it's still going to read when it's three inches tall. Yeah. Um, and so cool. there's really no other way to do that. Yeah. The other thing is with my books, I can do a line drawing that mm-hmm. I might end up making a vector drawing so I can do a screen printed T with it. Yeah. And then I can do a whole watercolor background. Oh, cool. Um, and then take that away when uh-huh. I need to do something else with it. Yeah. So I also like the uh, cool. less expensive mediums. Yeah. Because Heck yeah. If, uh, you Accessibility. Know. <laughs> yeah. Like, especially like I do watercolors and I sell some originals in the mm-hmm. space but like mm-hmm. yeah it's not a it's a tough it's a tough one to keep cost of original art down I mean I teach for a living and I love making art but yeah, you know I really make my living it. like encouraging other artists yeah yeah because the overhead is different <laughs> <laughs> I finally like, I got a, I got good access to beam feeds and what I like about nice. the other thing is, is, a, is all my art is nature inspired so I also yeah. make a lot of effort to lo- be low impact yeah and unfortunately art supplies often are very high impact yeah um, for sure the, even the you know yeah. mediums themselves yeah so uh beam paint is who I use for watercolor and cool. they're starting to do acrylics and oils and even they're such a great and company and it's yeah plant based and you know they work very with cool. indigenous people to get their sourcing and like yeah, they're making stuff. a huge and effort. It's reasonable. Mm-hmm. Like the stuff goes a long way for what you buy, mm-hmm. and then you don't have a plastic tube mm-hmm. at the end that you get to be like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at this trash I made. You yeah, know? like even though I made something beautiful. Oh. Oh, so like here's the. So oh, the so you thing, use. I make my own hangers. Make your own. Like these are completely recyclable, yeah. compostable yeah. hangers. Yes. So and you've thought so much feature, about. Yarn that's on the top oh so cool it's direct waste from my own industry which is quite intentional wow and then if you look at any of our boxing it has a note on the bottom that tells you that it's reusable and that you can return it to us and then we'll actually reuse the box oh that's cool so, so all we packaging can just... is reusable so you can gift okay. it and then bring it back to us you are a you master class in <laughs> thoughtful and then you retail have, uh, yeah is organized so this is yeah a, in the thoughtful retail thing you have all the two X's have the purple on the top and they're uh-huh. all in one bay. Uh, and then nice. all the extra larges have the navy on the top. And nice. In one so cool. you don't have to dig for your size. Nice. You're um, like, I'm I'm this size person or I'm thinking of this size person. And so let's just go there. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. And also just like the concept that anything that makes you feel crummy, right? Like right. If you think about like you love something. Thank you, dear. And you have um, to go from like... Just you love it, and then you have to dig for your size. Or so for mm-hmm. me, like I have a lovely, relaxed ladies fit. Is I wear normally a two X. There's not. I don't just shop a ladies tee and assume I'm gonna enjoy it. Yeah, because they're mostly shitty. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're the the I say fuck but, all the time on this perfect. show. It's fine. Uh, but they're mostly junior cuts, and so oh. they really don't fit a lot of women. Yeah. And so then we end up having to like go somewhere else rather than just like a, having our own size or we have to get a men's tee because well it'll be big enough and then I'll yeah. look okay in it yeah um so I appreciate that you can just know that that's your size and then shop only things that are the size and we have yeah racks and four racks. that's yeah. amazing and they have a big rack like everybody a big else. rack <laughs> and, and you can get you can look at 20 stunning designs, yeah, all that are going to fit. Are the same they're going to fit. The same screen print, yeah. The same quality as every yeah. Color. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's some customers. Okay. So also tuning into you, do you want to um, kind of do the end because yeah, you have yeah. customers or do, is there, what else we show? Oh, here's your set. Here. Oh, this is your original work. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to so go in and. I've got a handful at each storefront, and they're all watercolor, uh, handmade paper usually. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's a fun, uh, like, having storefronts, these are beautiful. it doesn't have to just be the brand. It can be anything I decide to create. So if I randomly make some jewelry or whatever. Yeah. Um, so you that's should take the other a jewelry making nice. class from Stacy. I just want to make a ring for myself. She <laughs> does it. That's, her, <laughs> like, most, that's, that's her most popular class. Like the ring stone I setting. Ta- I stone have to figure setting out. There's a girlfriend of mine that wanted to do that too, so I need to figure out what that was. Good thing to do with a friend. Okay, anyway, yeah, I'm, I, I love promoting people. Do it all the time, so I love it. <laughs> yeah. And then some of my photography. Yeah. This is kind of fun. So this is 
Ah. Both storefronts have these running screens, and these are all photos and videos that I've taken. Yeah. A lot of where my inspiration comes from. I'm going to get close um, to you because of the music. And yeah, then look, sure. there you are. And there's me. Yes. Yeah, so you, so you really understand, like, the art brand concept of, like, showing yourself yes. in the work so yes. people understand that you Absolutely. that you make it. Yes. There you are in I the really real. I try to do that because yeah. I, I feel like it is me. Yeah. So it's you. You yeah. knowing who I am and what this is about and why I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah. Helps. And then yeah. you can feel a different connection to it. Totally. Too. And, and I'm not always are... in the store, so having a bunch of photos of yeah. me, I think, is helpful to you. It's Hi. really, it's really <laughs> smart. It's really smart, and it's good. You're a great example of like doing it really well. Look at Thank these you. fun things. Yeah, this is the only other artist I feature, uh, and it's because obviously I film the store. On yeah, the but I really they're like really cool. Doing. Are they like and um, upcycled? Too, so oh yeah. yeah. Oh wow. I want that mat. They're fantastic, in my and they'll last for life. And the like, ooh. Part is she is making so she's taking trash and she's making it something that will never become trash uh-huh and that's uh -huh. like way in my ethos yeah and so very cool I'm, and she's a newport so she's local uh -huh. so you physically go pick up the what's orders her name? there she is kylie weaves crab line and those are her jelly jammers and she's on instagram kylie weaves crab, crab line cool okay great we just discovered another artist yeah. Yay. Okay, so future thinking. Yeah, let's let's just kind of focus on uh, what's coming next for you or what the next, you know, what yeah. you're looking ahead at. So Going back in the dressing we're back room. back in the dressing Hello. room so we don't disturb the customer. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I think for me, now that I'm getting both storefronts really set up and uh, mm -hmm. well-staffed, then I can kind of get back to more of the brand development and ideally i really do want to get some licensing stuff now oh, cool. that i have this mm -hmm. like full brand that has like lots of proven designs yeah. lots of various ways of creating it mm -hmm. i would want to be warehousing and making a bunch more of those like i'm yeah. happy to bring the stuff into the storefronts yeah but we need to control our existence like mm -hmm. i already worked 30 years mm -hmm. another thing so mm -hmm. i really want the lifestyle of this to make sense. So we yeah. like, we sell to other countries, so we go visit stores. And yeah. Stuff. So I'd like to expand, you cool. know, more of the, making it work for us. Yeah. Uh, would be really nice. So what my do you... husband does the business end, so we both can be free mm -hmm. at the same time, because he yeah. doesn't have some whole other uh, career to work around. Uh -huh. um, so I think that's the bigger, and eventually an Astoria store. Cool. That's amazing. An hour each. Yeah. Yeah, that's you perfect. travel up, spend time yeah. in it. That's the other part, is mm -hmm. we'll get a place that we can sleep over in. Yeah. Again, lifestyle-wise, just mm -hmm. making, okay, we have a thing that works. Yeah. So let's make it work for us. That's brilliant. It's, yeah. That's it's awesome. It's feeling good. It's yeah. feeling like, and I'll do a third book, you know. Yeah. Just, and having it staffed means I can have the time to do that other stuff and, and see what percolates. Yeah. It sounds right? like a lot of it is, is like, You've arrived. You're doing it. And you're like optimizing what you have. Yeah. And then there's a sense of licensing. Like you would love someone else to be making products with your stuff. Yes. I'm very happy. That would be the next level. Design it. Yeah. Work with them on the designing. Yeah. And then, you know, I'm like, hey, this sells. I yeah. know it sells because I already sell yeah. it. Yeah. like. 20 different kinds of products that yeah always sell. so like do you know about the art brand alliance I do. have i mentioned it to you i do and i even got invited to do it but i was yeah. at that point not feeling like i had any time to even take advantage totally, of it. totally yeah and so i just sort yeah. of like held off but i'm basically again with the staffing i feel like i can pursue more yeah. of that stuff and really like, yeah i just know because i've been big majority of the artists in there are doing artists. licensing yeah yeah so it's a place to like openly talk about it kind of behind it well, behind I closed doors like professionally my books to all my favorite uh, yeah celebrities and like there's a bunch of stuff oh my gosh like so fun that are just like fun like hey maybe yeah it somewhere, maybe it doesn't but mm -hmm. i need the time to actually like yeah. figure out where who the publicist you know like who for to sure and that yeah kind of stuff, taking but... a, even a day off is tough sometimes well, as an artist and business owner <laughs> Fact, I'm here on like I'm here on a vacation kind of yeah. for, and you're like, so we're doing for like one interview. day yeah. Yeah. so seasons and I run into each other out at dinner like the two times I've gone out to a nice dinner on the coast I'm I see you and James yeah no apparently, apparently I'm like oh I went to the right place if you're here yeah yeah, yeah. Strip was yeah. so good sure. yeah it was great. 
So oh. thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm so glad we worked it out. I know. We I talked know. about it at the beginning. And then, then that snowstorm happened and it was, well, and but the, also was crazy you're too. so fun to follow because you do, you like you live, you live in reverence of nature and you have such a keen eye for it that your videos like and it's fill a need anyway. for me. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm so happy to go on a walk and video it for all of you. And yeah. then you're going to love it and share. <laughs> yeah. The video hit a mil over a million. Is that the one of the uh, snowy, like... No. Oh, which one that was it? a lot, too, but I mean... But yeah. I was like, I would think... You, know, you showed a video. million people a glimpse of your viewpoint. It was at um, King Tides. Oh. It was a King Tides video. Cool. But, it, uh, but no, I have like 4,000 more followers on Facebook after that one million one. Wow, you so, went viral. Yeah, that's what that is. And it was so like so it was random, really right? At first, because it was like, how do I co re comment back on ten thousand comments? You don't. <laughs> that's when you realize you don't, right? That's when. I'm like, this is a whole. World. Yeah. But it's like, hey, you love nature, and then the people. The coolest part is, yeah, so people follow the nature because they they love the nature too. Yeah. But then they still come shop. Yeah, because it so reminds them of the nature, yeah. and it's made with this incredible sense of like top to bottom integrity with you and your business. Yeah. But and that yeah. way, I don't have to always be like product, product, product. <laughs> like this is the product. This yeah. Is the, the, how yeah. this feels is mm -hmm. what I'm selling. Yeah, so and they're the all really soft. That, they're all really like gorgeous. Like they fit like super beautifully and flatter. Oh, and I should show you a yeah. hoodie, really. Cool. Okay, let's see a hoodie because I they're my number one. I want to go shopping now. I know. Oh, here. <laughs> oh my gosh! Ooh, so I love that color. Oh, and it has a puffin. Yes. Oh my god. So I like to. Oh, and it has the. the Oh my god okay. and this one's fun because you have two smiling clouds you look at the secret the little smiling bag. clouds and then you have the puffin oh my gosh and that i feel like it's amazing. important for you to have like oh. to me he's like a little protector actually yeah uh, oh my gosh wild oregon girl has this one and she's oh. her uh, puffin power like yeah puffin protector or like i've never needed a hoodie more in my life <laughs> So yeah, all of them have some kind of wow. fun like this on the front to yeah. keep you company. And oh then my God. everybody else gets to enjoy the, oh, the landscape on the yes, back. Yes, so you I have love that. it. That's great. <laughs> That's so great. Right. Oh, thank you for showing. Wait, can I have that hoodie? Yes. <laughs> okay, let's sign off. We're still live. Okay. We're still live. Um, so, all right. Thank you for watching the thank art you guys. This is Seasons <laughs> Has sparks and this is salty raven her entire top to bottom art brand created with her own designs and i'm anamika just a lifelong super fan of other artists and i'm doing this show daily um and hopefully to create a real podcast and youtube show into the future so yeah thank you for i like that on the plan show. a lot thank you yeah. and you can watching. you can get this stuff online right yeah saltyraven.net and, yeah. and then you have uh my tillamook flagship store is very cool we own that building very yeah. experiential so tillamook oregon canon beach Canada oregon beach. yes so and get out here <laughs> <laughs> thank i you. saw puffins this morning yay yeah. so did i yay. we were both okay. out we were both out there we okay. got to see come to see puffins yeah okay Bye. Join us. Yeah, come out here and see the <laughs> epic nature. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Mwah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'd love to have you inside of Art Friends School, where we go deeper into these topics. Follow the link that's in the show notes or find it on my website at onamika.com. 